Hi, Hiromi Fuji here from kendoguide.com. In this video, I would like to talk about whether or not the left elbow should be bent when striking and also the reason why the left hand is called the power hand. Okay, here's the question. I have a question about how to use hands in kendo. Many people said you must do a strike with a straight left hand. The left hand is very important. It is an origin of a strike. Very true. I feel I do a strike better, uh, more balanced, more accurate uh, when I focus energy into my left hand. But I'm not too sure about a straight left hand. Uh, they said the left uh, straight left hand is more powerful. I feel I'm not natural when I, my uh, left hand is so straight, my shoulder uh, cr uh, crouches and goes up. Uh, my right hand is straight, uh, always straight in my any strikes, so it makes my body stands outward, uh, outward, when my left hand also my left hand is also straight. Uh, so, what is the right way in using two hands in doing a strike? Okay, uh, I think this is a very common question. And there, I don't want to say what's right and what's wrong. That's because it's different pers perspectives. And I know there are uh, people say straight left hand as well. Okay, so it's different teachings, but uh, it's not right or wrong. Uh, I have my reasons, uh, the reason why I do certain things, but they also have why reason just explained there, more powerful, okay. But base, so I'm going to give you this answer from my perspectives uh, based on what I have learned from my senses, okay. It might, it might change in the future, but at this very moment, this is how I think, okay. Now, uh, I my strike left hand is bent my hand left elbow is bent and that's that's how i strike my left left hand is left elbow is bent my right elbow also is slightly bent i don't uh, i don't have my i don't strike with my left elbow straight okay uh when i say that i'm not talking about actual men strike probably when i strike men in kendo put men armor on probably it's extended uh very straight but what i mean that it is not straight i don't want to lock my left el and the right elbow too much because when i lock it my right shoulder comes forward and i have a bad shoulders left and right so if i extend my elbows like that uh I have a lot of uh, pain, so I don't want to have a lot of um, stress in my shoulders. That's one reason I don't want to extend my elbow. But the other reason is um, uh, because right shoulder, because the how we stand in kendo, uh, right foot forward, okay, and right hand forward. That means our right side of the body is forward so it's not straight okay and if we have if we follow the uh, principle or uh, prin principle of sizenta in natural posture uh, if you twist it to have your body face towards your opponent it's not natural because you have to twist back so your right shoulder and right foot is fo forward right already so your your body is uh right side is forward but if you want to keep your sh if you try to keep your body straight towards your opponent you are twisting upper body right so it's not natural i consider that it's consider not natural so what i think is natural is keep that body posture right for, for, i don't mean twist too much to your left okay natural so your right foot forward your right foot, uh, right hand is forward so it's naturally your right side body is forward get okay? a slightly side on okay so that means left hand is more left elbow is more bent than right elbows of course okay 
and when you strike man this is kind of short because of because I'm inside <laughs> so probably the sky is about black like that okay Boom. so if if I strike man this should be more bent right bent than this I think that's natural because of uh, uh, the shape of the body right right for right hand forward and this side is more closer to your body so you have to bend and if you stretch your elbow right this stands up okay and both elbows are straight is probably I'm exaggerating I don't know uh, but if I have my both elbows straight this happens right and I don't know if it's this. the Kensaki straight goes up it's, stand, it's actually standing it's facing uh, the ceiling uh, I, we want to cut so we don't want to do it so natural, natural, naturally left elbow should be bent I think that's that's how I strike that's how uh, my body ends up based on the natural posture that I think it's natural so some people have different theory but in terms I mean regarding those uh, elbows left elbows it sh I think it should be bent but again different people have different theories and different principles so I'm not too sure uh, what is right and what is wrong and based on what I think is left elbow should be bent but I'm not saying they're wrong because I don't know uh, uh, their uh, theory or their concept okay the left hand should be stronger that's another thing I want to mention it should be stronger because right hand is uh, forward it tends to control the because it's forward right this wants to control the shinai that's a common thing it's not about right-handed left-handed because this is forward right um, this wants to take over so this the people do this right-handed left-handed doesn't matter if you have left hand forward this happens because this this is easier because they think they have to control shinai or the weapon and this is forward this happens understandable right so that is more natural probably that's why they, people say left hand is more important than right hand as you as you study kendo you probably think both hands are important it doesn't matter right or left uh, only beginners it matters to beginners because of this because of the one hand is forward so this wants to take over everything this wants to control it doesn't matter left or right I think that's why okay I might be wrong okay but that's how I think um, in kendo we say right hand, left hand is power hand more important that's because people think this is more important this the right hand with the right hand people try to control shinai we want to prevent that we want to avoid that that's why they might come up with this thing left hand is more important than right hand but it's true left hand should be center it's it has to be powerful than right hand because right hand has to be relaxed all the time okay that's nothing you know that is true and if your right hand is really tight you you can't control um, your sword okay that's also true I'm speaking through my experience I might be wrong but um, that's how I think and how I feel okay I talked about two things today about left elbow and about the right hand the reason why uh, I think the left hand is called the power hand okay so right both hands both arms are equally important but people tend to control the shinai 
the front hand probably that's why uh, they started talking about this hand left hand is the power hand so they stop control the shinai or sword with the right hand that's how i think personally okay i don't know exactly that's why right and also i please do not talk about right or wrong okay kendo uh, has a lot of theories that's because we used to have many schools in the past so different schools have their own different theories okay and then kendo has uh, those theories different teachers have their own theories so that's why we have many theories okay i hope this helps uh help us with your kendo improvement and i'll see you in the next video thank you very much